Good morning. How are you? This is Red Turban, Red Turban 1328 or Red Turban 9, formerly known as Shinobi 009. So recently on speaking about my experiences in the music industry, not necessarily as recording uh, affiliate, but as a person that worked in an industry where I dealt with entertainment that was my job to be there for the entertainment. I was an event security staff for multiple different venues throughout the Bay Area um, for about 17 years. Um, I started my first job to be close to music because I had decided at that point music was going to be a part of my life regardless if everything else fell apart. So I started taking on jobs as early as 1991 working for Club Deja Vu which is now the Gold Club Gentlemen's Club at 650 Howard here in San Francisco, California. Uh, so recently I was asked to tell a couple of different stories that I had been involved or experienced or somewhere around the vicinity of. One of them was asked to recollect on my experience taking a sneak snapshot from the barricade area at a venue that Ice Cube formerly of NWA, was performing at. Apparently, this show was to... The premise of the show was that Ice Cube was going to go back in time to the old days. He came out on stage in the khaki suit and all that stuff, and they were on stage with the homies, you know, they're doing a little thing, interacting with the crowd and all that. And I was just starting out to really take photography a lot more serious. Um... Uh, a lot of the greats were starting to pass away or were just dropping out of the limelight or whatever. And I took it upon myself to challenge myself and possibly put my job at risk. Because if we got busted taking photos like that, uh, the tour manager could make your life a living hell with your company that you worked for, especially if you're security. So I was one of the people that was considered a veteran or a senior in the security division and was put into the barricades considering um, I wasn't going to work that night. I hadn't originally picked to work the Ice Cube nights or any hip hop nights because sometimes they turned a little bit rowdy, depending upon which persons um, were on stage. Um, Ice Cube happened to be on stage this particular night. And I was scheduled for barricade, obviously, as I said. the It's a really short little story because it really wasn't much of an interaction. I didn't even speak with the guy. I was just at the barricade at his feet, pretty much, guarding from folks trying to rush the stage. And Cube did one point where he went into his time machine and went back in time. He came back on stage with a different set of clothes, beanie cap and all that. I still have the photo somewhere in my archives if you want to see it. It'll take me a little time to dig it up because, like I said, I was a photography person at that time. So I have tons of photos. So I'd have a lot of digging to go look for that particular photograph. Um, it's been quite some time. But uh, Cube was on stage. He was doing his back in time thing. Um, there was this big old hand on the stage throwing up the W sign. West Side, you know, big old West Side hand on the stage, the whole thing. And it was a dope night. The element was good. The crowd was actually pretty well behaved, which surprised the hell out of me. Um, but it was a good time. So I pulled out my little snapshot camera. One point, Cube came. I can't even remember what the song was that he was doing at that point, to be honest. It's been so long. But it was some main song. Uh, like I said, he was doing the throwback portion of the show. He went back in time, came back on the stage from the past into the future and was performing a particular song. I, for the life of me, I can't even remember what song it was. But he came out on stage, he stood up at attention and then he bent forward and he started doing the hand gesture thing to get the crowd pumped up and really get them involved into it. And that's when I took the shot. And the look that Cube gave me, <laughs> I don't think he was too happy about that shit. He probably won't remember if you ever ask him. Uh, he'll remember the showcase, I'm sure, because he was pretty he was pretty, pretty lit that night. He was on one. But he probably won't remember that incident. 
But uh, yeah, I was in the barricade. There was at one point Cube started going across the stage and he was coming back across the stage. And at one point he was kind of like maybe a foot or two away from me at the edge of the stage. And he leans toward the crowd and starts doing the hand thing. So at that point, I literally just turned around and was like, fuck it, I'm gonna take this shot. Cause when's the next time Cube gonna come to the Fillmore Auditorium? So I turned around and was like, and he gave me this look like, the fuck is you doing, dude? And I was just like, oh shit, this fool gonna probably tell somebody and I'm gonna get fired <laughs> for taking this picture. And the funny part about it is that the picture didn't even come out that good because <laughs> it was dark inside the venue. They had all this kind of neon like overhead lighting stuff in the background and above him. And it came out more of like somebody had put some of that, what do they call that stuff? That, um, that real cloudy looking um, food paper, um, wax paper, I guess, or whatever that stuff is, butcher's paper or something. It, it looks like somebody put something fogged, like a fogged filament across the screen. And all you saw was the form of a body, slight color, a lot of the wash from the colored lights from the stage. And then his hand turning into this line of a blur from like pretty much his kneecap all the way to above his head while he was throwing the sign up doing, doing this thing. So uh, <laughs> that's my recollection of like sneaking and getting a shot of Ice Cube. I've done that numerous times throughout the career, but that one could have probably got me fired because it was front and center. Any and everybody could have seen that. Um, I know the guy that did the main booking, which I can't even remember his name no more now. Um, he used to sit at the opposite end of the stage at the back and there was booths on like a mezzanine floor that you could sit in there like theatrical seating. And I know a lot of the time, especially for main acts, he would invite family or friends or business or possible business cohorts to come over and they would get seatings up in that area because it was a private booth seating that allowed you to sit and watch the entire arena in front of you, stage, everything, the whole crowd in front of you, the whole thing. So I was lucky that night to take that photo. But sometimes as a photographer, you got to take chances and make sacrifices. And that was one that I'm proud of. The only thing I'm not proud of is that the photo sucked. <laughs> it's so blurry, you wouldn't even know that it was Cube unless I told you. But uh, yeah, man, I, I got I, I have plenty more stories. Like I said, I've worked at numerous different venues starting back as far as 1991. And I knew because of the way I went into the music scene, um, I wasn't going to make much money. But I became very rich in experiences from the people that I worked with and the events that I got to be a part of and the acts that I got to see and experience firsthand. Um, I have a lot to tell you, bro. <laughs> this is a lot. And it'll be pretty good to kind of share those stories with people because very few people have ever heard that from me. So it's not an ego thing or anything. Ask away. I will share as much as I can to allow people to kind of vicariously visit those moments too. Because uh, I think back on them, and even though I didn't make much money at the events, like I said, I became very rich in the experiences from being, just being there at those events. And um, the future's gonna be bright, man. There's a, lot, there's a lot to look forward to, I'm still seeing. And somehow or another, I've still kept myself attached to sound. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of story. This was Red Turban, uh, also the formerly known as Shinobi 009. At least that's when I took that photo of Ice Cube. Um, but yeah, man, peace and blessings. Welcome in this new year. May something very special happen to you this year. Peace out.